dear students at first i will introduce i myself i am myself professor asit chope working as assistant professor in electrical engineering department of snd college of engineering and research center devla so we are seeing the subject mainly that the high voltage engineering so up till now we have seen that what are the different breakdowns in the occurring in the gases and the how, how the breakdown in the gases liquid and solids is going to be occurring so we have to see this one so firstly we are seeing the breakdown in the gases so up till now in the two or three or four lectures we have seen what are the ionization what are types of the ionization then we have also seen that um, what the townsend theory for the ionization so in this lecture we will see the steamer theory or canal theory so when we are going to see the breakdowns in the gases we are seeing the two types of the theory that is the townsend theory and the steamer theory so when we have seen we are seeing the steamer theory so question arises why it is essential to study the steamer theory because we have actually townsend theory but there are certain drawbacks in the case of townsend theory when we are seeing the breakdown in the townsend theory we are considering only the ionization townsend applied to breakdown at at which we are seeing only the ionization we are not seeing about the atmospheric pressure and the size of the gas so when we are going to see this theory we have to consider this pressure also pressure we have to consider see here townsend mechanism and applied to breakdown at atmospheric pass come to certain drawback there are certain drawback firstly according to townsend theory current growth occurs as the result of ionization process only just i have told that in the case of townsend theory we have seen that the current growth or the ionization the breakdown takes place due to only the ionization process but in practice breakdown voltages were found to depend upon gas pressure and the ge geometry geometry of the gap geometry of the gap and a second important point when we are going to see the steamer theory is also going to be time lag order in the case of this one 10 to the power minus 5 second while actual practice breakdown was observed to occur at short times of 10 to the power minus 8 second so these two drawbacks we are considering to do two drawbacks that are occurring in the townsend theory we are seeing that is the steamer theory so we will see here <clears throat> when we have seen then breakdown in the gases then we have seen that there are uniform field and non uniform field but when pd pd value is less than 100 then the townsend theory is applied in the uniform field what is in the pasteur flow that will be p pressure and the d is the distance between the gaps distance distance between the electrons so when we are seeing the townsend theory we are seeing the uniform field but if pd is greater than p into d is greater than 1000 it means in a non uniform field we have to apply the steamer theory where we have to apply remember one thing we have to apply the steamer theory when pd is greater than 1000 and the field is going to be non uniform see here townsend mechanism is not consistent with non uniform field gap it means when we are seeing we have seen you are we also study in the classes also the understand we have seen there are two types of field uniform field non uniform field so in this case it was difficult to invite how the townsend mechanism would apply for long gap where the spars are observed to branch and to have a irregular character character of the growth
in both versions spark discharge develop directly from a single avalanche which the space charge transfer into plasma steam what do you mean by avalanche avalanche is nothing but the bunches of the ions bunches of the ion bunches when they that is going to be the bunches of going to form in addition we can say that is the avalanche principal features of both version are in the photo ionization of the gas molecule in the space ahead of the steam on and the local inhalement of the electric field by the space discharge at a t Uh, cathode directed steam we have seen in the diagram three diagram here is the cathode here is the electron first the avalanche is crossing the gap you have see that this cathode is a positive ion they when the ion when they are attracted to the electrons are attracted to the cathode what is the remaining remaining is nothing but the positive ion so there is a form of the avalanche first avalanche that is occurring in this case that is going to be the first avalanche occurring across it means what is remaining electrons are going to be absorbed right then what is remaining remaining is positive ions where will they going to be attracted they will be going to be attracted to the cathode so this is going to be the steamer second one diagram steamer extending from the anode from the anode the steam is going to be extended and the third condition is that that is the important condition that is going to be the crossing of the gap you have seen the total total is going to be the crossing of the gap total gap is crossed by the positive and negative ion firstly we have seen that first now second one in this case see that is going to be the positive and negative ion electron also and positive ion also in the third case that is the conduction case in this case the steamer crossing the gap it means it is going to be the total breakdown it means what is going to be in the constant theory also we have seen the breakdown in this also going to be we are seeing the breakdown but when we are going to see the constant theory at this time we have seen only the ionization here is the going to be the theory that going to be the conduction band is formed between cathode and anode and due to this conduction of the band breakdown occurs in the steamer state See here, when the avalanche has crossed the gap, the electron tensor into just I have told. Electron shifts into the anode. मैंने क्या बताया अभी आप लोगों को? तू वही बताया कि electrons are attached to the anode. What are remaining? The positive ions remaining in a constant volume extending across the gap. It means these positive ions that are remaining, they are going to form a gap. They are going to bridge the gap. And due to this one, the that the that the breakdown occurs. And this breakdown. Is due to steamer theory, where steamer theory is applied only if the PD is greater than one thousand. What is P? P is the pressure, and D is the distance between the electrons. So when PD product is going to be greater than one thousand, it means that that is a non-uniform field. And we have seen in the starting that constant theory is not going to be applied for the non-uniform field. If there is no sorry non-uniform field. If there is a non-uniform field, then at this time you have to apply only that is going to be the steamer state. 